We are here at the site where the old school burned down and where the new one is being built. And it might not look like much now, but next year at this time, there will be classrooms, a cafeteria, a gym, and a playground. The Crestline Elementary School project is officially underway. The golden shovels are out, and groundbreaking begins on the new Crestline Elementary School in Vancouver. The 62,000 square foot facility should be ready by next school year. The crews have been in here for about two weeks, clearing out the remainder, the remainder of the old school, getting ready to lay the foundation. Crestline burned down in February in a three alarm fire. Sean Franklin remembers when he had to break the news to his six year old daughter, Jasmine. Believe it or not, even for her age, she started crying. The Evergreen School District scrambled to spread out the 500 students and staff to different locations. Katie Van Ness taught second grade. She says while it was hectic, support from the community helped them adjust. The donations from the community was overwhelming. They were just very supportive, and we weren't, we didn't really have to ask for school supplies this year because we had enough. Her son Sam says he can't wait to start school tomorrow with all of his friends again. The whole student body in temporary classrooms built in an old Hewlett Packard building. But he has mixed feelings watching the construction. It's kind of exciting, but kind of sad at the same time because. I have all these memories about the old school. It has been seven months, and firefighters still do not know exactly what caused the fire. Until this day, we're still wondering what happened, what happened, what happened. It's a shirt that everyone got. But parents say the experience has brought them closer. Many wearing I Love Crestline t shirts. That's impressive. Their kids decorating themselves with temporary tattoos. Today's groundbreaking brings them one step closer to getting back to normal and one more thing to look forward to. We're very excited for next year. It's just so nice to have kind of a new beginning now. District officials say they do not know exactly how much this new facility will cost, but it's being paid mostly with insurance. Reporting live in Vancouver, Alyssa Harrington, Coin 6 News.